Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm Get Daved. Uh, last time we were playing this, I think I killed some sort of plant-based boss. And now we have to go to Eleni's castle to ask her to dissolve her seal, which is water-soluble. She used to be a good witch, but she's not anymore. Go north to the haunted forest, find her castle, and ask her to dissolve her seals and have some weapons. You know, it's pretty suspicious when you tell me to go ask her to do something and then give me a weapon, you know, just in case things go south. You know, let's let's cut to the chase and start with the threatening. Watts wanted to see me, in case you forgot. He's the blacksmith. He told me it must have... He quickly figured out this was the mana sword. I guess it's obvious to blacksmiths. I wonder why my axe is terrible. special. Just like this axe. I could smash a boulder with it. And now you're gonna sell it to me? It didn't even work till I touched it. Covering up your crap. Yeah, yeah. This shortcut is actually quite helpful, especially because I don't have very much money right now, and so I'm not gonna be able to afford to upgrade all of my crap. This will make it a lot easier for me. I appreciate that. Priority one is going to be getting good equipment for the Sprite, whom I named Sprite last time, because I don't want to take sides in the gender debate about which the Sprite is. The game told me male. If it's male, why am I so turned on by it? Alright. What'll it be? I'm buying. I'm buying a Rabbite cap. I don't think the Sprite comes with one. I think the sprite comes with this hula skirt, which is apparently a robe. Like that goes around your neck. Alright. Spiky suit. And now I'm broke. And boy, am I gonna regret it if I actually, uh, you know, already have that cap for the sprite. We'll find out. No. Which makes me the hero. Put that elbow pad for now. We'll see if I can actually afford it better later. Oh. Sorry, everybody. I forgot how to control the game. I'm going to... Just kidding. Sell. I'm going to sell. There's no real point in selling like, candy or anything like that, ever. Okay, the power wrist is worth 150. I can get up to 126. Well, I'm gonna level with you people. I have never gone out so under equipped before, but uh, I refuse to grind, because that's the sort of stubborn ass I am. Uh, I do think I might have enough money to forge a weapon. No, no, I don't even have that. It's alright. It's a bit of a shame. The spear is freaking awesome. Uh, I believe I've stated that my favorite weapon is the spear. Uh, it's because I like high attack power, and I find it a little easier to aim. Most people swear by the sword or the axe. Uh, and the pole dart is probably the unloved weapon that, you know, gets forgotten about. Actually, that kind of happens to the boomerang, too. Anyway, let's go visit Eleni the Witch. I'm gonna set the sprite's action gauge real quick here. Or action grid. Uh, you can be offensive, but hang back a bit. I don't care that you're on level one and poorly equipped. Everyone has to fight in my party. I was just watching H.C. Bailey's oh, frickin AI. FF6 slash three. Let's Play, and uh, was shocked that he put people in the back row. To me, that's sacrilegious. Like, uh, y you know, in that game, I don't think you ever really want to trade off physical attacks, but I don't know. That's how I play. I play things very aggressively. At least, I think I do. I'm not grinding. That's a start. Get off my case. 
Look at me whack that thing. How could I do that if I didn't play aggressively? Alright. Chop down some more of these guys. I am gonna kill them because I do, as a rule, ha oh, dang it, I have to get shot in the chest with an arrow. No, I have to kill everything I see is kind of a rule I live by in real life and in games. Uh, Kind of fortunate that I blocked that arrow that just got launched at me. Ugh, look at the girl later. A bomb! I'm glad I opened this. Fun fact for those of you who play this game on an emulator, not that you should unless you've purchased a real version of the game. Um, the contents of the chest are randomized after they're dropped not before. It's not like when you kill the enemy it's like, hey, what type of chest should this be? Oh, well, I don't know. It should be a booby trap. No, it's when you open it that I think it decides. Which means if you state save beforehand and you want to get a better chest, it's possible to do that. You'll even save my game? That's all I want you for, Nico. Save my game. It's been a while. Putting a lot of faith in my state saves and then I won't. Or save states my emulator skills. Come on, alright. That went pretty well. You can explore... I didn't really look around down the right staircase before, so I think I'll poke around there just for a sec, because uh, there could be something there. I'm also going to confess something about the game right now. I do know it pretty well. I've beaten it... Uh, I don't know, probably three or four times. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a long range weapon. And I will use the sprite for that. I will use the sprite for that. There we go. Um, dang it. This isn't ending well. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of know the game a bit, but. Uh, dang it! Shot for shot with a dude that probably has about as much life? Not a good idea. Sorry about that. Um, playing shot for shot with a dude that has as much life? Not a good idea. The sprite's terrible at everything related to fighting. Uh, it kind of makes up for it, he or she, it kind of makes up for it later with its uh, magic, but uh, we don't really know about that yet. Dag. Being moogled is bad. You'd think it was a good thing. It'd make you powerful and dance-worthy like Mog, but no. It basically means, despite what some people believe, you can get hit, and uh, you can't do anything about it. Like, you lose your ability to attack. Okay, I just opened up a passage for myself later, so it's a good thing I took that path. It's almost like I know my way around this game. Right, confession time. Um, that weapon orb I got that let me upgrade the sword to level 2? Yeah, it's a good thing. You can get all your weapons up to level 8 by normal means, and you can kind of, if you repeatedly open treasure chests um, in the last area of the game, you can get um, level nine weapons. Most of them are like most of those are pretty marginal upgrades up to level nine. Uh, every weapon but the sword can upgrade like that. But uh, anyway, I don't know how to get the axe to level eight or the gloves to level eight just by finding treasure chests and defeating bosses. And I read in a couple places that that's just how the game works. That you can't get to level 8 weapons, but I, uh, think I used to rent this game. It was too expensive to buy. It was like $100 in Canada. But, uh, I seem to recall getting to the level 8 axe once. And it could be entirely fake. Uh, it could be a... Maybe I dreamed it. Maybe it was a drug-induced haze. I don't know. But, uh, I think it's possible. I believe, damn it. But, uh... I don't know, if any of you know, 
and feel like commenting, uh, please do, because I would like to not be camping treasure chests. These guys aren't worth the effort. Okay, fine. If we hit them once, I'll finish them off. And that will be about doing it for this Let's Play. Kill this blat and go on this teleporter up here and, uh, oh, just kidding, that's not a teleporter. We'll go on this one and we'll call it a day. I was Get Dave. I still am Get Dave. I'll see you later on Let's Play Secret of Mana.